bad switch. We had a electrical storm uh, about, it was about a week ago now. And uh, this real, real heavy thunder and lightning and very little rain actually. But after it was all said and done, my garage door wouldn't work. Which uh, it still won't. Actually, you see it's up, and that's because it will work with the remote controls. But the button on the door, or on the wall, that's flashing over there, when you push it, it's not supposed to flash, it's just supposed to be steady light on. There we go. It's not supposed to flash. Anyway. So I found my manual and I went through and I troubleshot it and I tried to reprogram it. And I did everything I could possibly do to try to get this thing working. And nothing. So that's what I thought was well, try the remote controls that we carry in the vehicle. And I carry one in my lunch bag. That way I can come into the garage when I come home from work. And uh take my dirty shoes off before I go in the house and they worked so I thought, oh, that's weird so I'm thinking there must be something wrong with that switch right over there. so I call them I get on their 800 number and I call them and I sit there listening to their music while I'm in the queue for about an hour and I finally get a phone that rings and it immediately goes busy well, I've been disconnected. So I had to do that again. So I finally, I do that again and I get a hold of somebody. And he says, well, let's test it. He says, can you take that switch that's on the wall, take that off of there and disconnect the wires from the back of it? I said, yep. I said, hold on. And he says, touch them together. And I touch them together and nothing happens. And he goes, well, that tells me that there's a wire, something wrong with one of the wires. Well, I already know that there's nothing wrong with the wires because I had already disconnected them from the back of the motor up here one at a time. And with each one, when I did, the switch on the wall would quit flashing. And when I would plug it back in, it would start flashing again. And regardless of which one I unplugged and plugged in, that would be the case. So I knew there was good continuity through those wires. So I told him, I said, I don't think that it is the wires. I think it's got to be something else. So he goes, okay. He says, do this. He says, do you have two short pieces of wire? That you can use for a jumper. And I said, yes, I do. And I, went, I said, hold on. And I went and got these. And made them up real quick. Just little jumper wires. And he said, stick those in there and touch them together. So I unplugged the wall switch and plugged these in there and touch them together. So I did and nothing happened. And he goes, I said, is that what you meant? And he said, no, I want you to hook that doorbell to them. The doorbell is on the wall. I said, okay, well, hold on, I can do that too. Because there is a little circuit board inside that switch. I thought, okay, well, maybe. So, I do that. And I hooked him up, and I tried it, and nothing happened. And he goes, well, that tells me it's not your wires, it's probably that switch. He goes, how long you had it? And I put this in right after we moved in, and it was just a little over a year ago. And I said, about a year. And he goes, well, I'm just going to send you a new switch. Uh, he says, you're still under warranty. And uh, I'm just going to send you a new switch out. I said, okay, cool. So anyway, that should be here tomorrow. So we'll see if that's actually what it is. But yeah, I, I find it odd that during that thunderstorm, that lightning would have ran through the motor 
and not done any damage to the motor except for the, the switch part. It's just weird, you know, it's like, really? But anyway, that's what's up with that. So. All right, guys, so that new switch just got here. Compliments of UPS. And in it is a new switch. And I think you can see the circuit board is in there. And there's a bunch of paperwork too. Which I'm curious what that's gonna say. Instructions. Basically instructions. Alright. So first thing it says is to unplug the garage door opener. I had planned to do that anyway. Strip the wires, da 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 da. Anyway, I'm gonna unplug it, put the new one in, and see how it goes. Oh, this switch is a little bit different. It says it's got a little button on the side, which I don't think you can see it from here. But it's got like a light bulb by it, so you could flip that on and just just turn the light on, which is interesting. The other one doesn't have that. Anyway, it says to uh, plug it back in, and it says that that button should actually blink if it's installed correctly, which is odd. That's got me thinking something's wrong with this motor. Anyway, it's not blinking. So that's interesting. And then it says you have to synchronize it, which means push it three times. Or up to three times. Oh, but it's working. As you can see, it's getting lighter in here. So yay. I'll push it again and close it. And well, yay for that. Now, the light will actually stay on four and a half to five minutes. But I guess after that, when it's out, I can come out here and actually turn the light on by just flipping that little switch on the side, which is interesting. Which there's a light switch right there by it. There'd be no point in me doing that, but it's neat to know. I'm curious to see if that works. But anyway, that seemed to be a win-win deal. I'm glad that they sent that out. That was Chamberlain uh, Automatic Garage Door Openers. This is a PD-222. And uh, the mystery is still like, why did it go bad? But the upside is it's fixed. So yay for that. There's a little circuit board in there. You can see it. There's my telephone. So I got to get out of here. Talk to you all later. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, we'll see ya. Cheers. All right, so the light has gone out. And I push that button on the switch. It does go on and off. How about that? Very cool. All right. And, uh, I tested for continuity in the back of the old one and got nothing. So it's a dead player. It's a nice little unit, but if it wouldn't work for anything, I don't guess there's any point in keeping it. So I guess I'll put that in the trash bin. However, then again, you know me, I may keep it and see if I can't do something with it on another day. All right, that's it for this one. <laughs> Y'all take care and uh, we'll see you around. Oh, there I am. Alright. Thanks guys.
Bye-bye.